We're back today. It's the middle of the week. It's gonna be a little bit of wet and wild, kind of an extreme part of life, if you may, when we come into it in the end. There's been a lot of different issues when it comes to things being wet. What I mean by that is TikTok likes to go out there and make challenges. What I mean by that is it's not necessarily TikTok's fault, but I know that the large corporation that you are suppressed the smaller people out there. So one big incident that's been happening lately has been the washroom destruction, destruction. Uh, videos that have been going around TikTok, people going into different city washrooms, just destroying them and vandalizing them overall, just making sure that the next person that wants to take a big deuce just can't it's not very family friendly for anyone especially if you have a kid and then they're just taking a dump in their pants and you can't like take them anywhere one of the bigger issues that we have with destroying washrooms is that no one can actually go in and use them when the time is necessary although this may seem like a funny endeavor in that hey look like you can't use the washroom you better hold it in this is the challenge of your life you bet your ass someone is either gonna make it or they're gonna slip a little you know a little cheek out and then all hell is gonna break loose and then people are gonna point and laugh stare or whatever they do not only that too we found out that Thailand in the future that we never knew before they have uncovered a lot of sunken cities and this is sort of baffling to me because if you look that up in the news section of like Google it'll show a ton of stuff like a huge a massive list of areas that people can go to and check out and find out that hey look there has been more going on in Thailand than we first thought so we go out there and we watch this and we think that we may have been suppressed a little bit from our cheeky little video providers although we know disney is made for like a lot of adult entertainment i think back in the day too it even catered to a lot of racial uh, discrimination which was quite sad and a lot of fetishizing with the bored people that just work consistently and i guess some people want to be a little bit more exciting when it comes on wednesday we know what's going after that we need to finish what we've started so they go out there and then they start writing stuff and on wednesday when things get a little bit too exciting they have to end off on a good note with that movie and it still has to like be portrayed in a way that kids can see it but adults can have fun which makes sense too although these cities are extremely important they have been set on the the back end of education when it comes to people learning so today i'd like to give a teaching to people of what really happened in some of these places so in thailand for an example the lost cities are there because everything started flooding back in the day mud would go down and just start forming and then start covering up temples and cities and people would have to like dig them out a little bit and that was particularly a responsible index when it came to easter island heads because all we saw were island heads and people thought for the longest time that there's nothing underneath them and that we can't move them because they're so heavy as a kid i thought look like we can most likely move these things but i guess no one wanted to take the responsibility or maybe there was no supporting it back in the day to actually go and like take them and then start digging underneath them to see if there's actually more going on than what there is so when we visit thailand some places that you can visit that were actually sunken in the meantime were wat e kang uh wat nan chang wat pu pai wat chang tam there's like number one of that and then there's the regular one these are most likely words of just saying like temple uh what that cow these are really cool names. I feel like a lot of them are meant to be a little bit funny in the English language. Like someone must have worked together with the people of Thailand to make these. And that's about it for today. Thank you very much for watching. And if you liked the video, please dip your fingers down in that honey hole and tap like on the video. It makes me feel good. It makes me happy. And I like when you do it. Leave a comment because I like being flourished with gifts sometimes. Check out my other videos though, in all seriousness, because they're bizarre and they're cool. There's a lot of niche different videos down there. I think you'll enjoy them. Take care. Peace.